Hi, you're watching Front Row Live Entertainment, and this is Maytel and Joey. Hey guys, Robert here with Front Row Live, hanging out with the beautiful actress, songwriter, and author Maydal. How are you doing? Hi, trying to stay pretty. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's hard for you. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I know. It seems natural. Thanks. You, you too, actually. Uh, no, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, no, you're pretty good looking too. So. They, they told me who I was gonna work with, and I looked you up, and I was like. I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I need to look good so I can, you know, match with you. Thanks, thanks. Much appreciation. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's a pretty good day today. Cool, absolutely. So how's your day been so far? Uh, the day has been good. Um, we have uh, another show today mm. at the factory, Cherry Pop. And um, Tom Whitman is the, um, uh, the uh, promoter. Okay. And uh, it's uh, it's very exciting. So we're just before the show, getting ready, and they already ran, mm -hmm. and I already had an acupuncture. So. Nice. so you had a relaxing day already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that your secret? Exactly. That's what I do all day. <laughs> acupuncture. I hardly work actually. Oh. Most of the time, I just lay down <laughs> with needles on me. Crazy, crazy. So you obviously. Speaking of work, you have a lot of, you know, your resume is probably like dot, 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 because there's so much you have going on. So how did you get involved with music? Um, it's a funny story because I was in Israel. I was um, shooting the TV series Dancing with the Stars, the Israeli version. Okay. And I have a great spiritual guide, something like that. I mean, I don't know what to call it, but like a healer or something. Yeah. And um, we, one of our meetings, she said, okay, now you have to go back to America ASAP. It's really urgent because you have to go and start doing music. So I was looking at her like kind of the look that you have in your eyes. <laughs> I was like, you are crazy. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I came back and third person I met was Jay Pop, um, who worked with Lauren Hill and Eminem, Dr. Dre. Yeah, so he's a really amazing producer. and. We just really bonded and clicked, and we just started working on an album. So she wasn't wrong this time. <laughs> I guess she was right. <laughs> so if it wasn't for your healer, would you have been doing music, or did you not even consider that? I was always, uh, I, I did this big show with Israeli singer Ivri Lider. Mm -hmm. um, it was really pleasant and amazing experience. That was uh, when I was living in Israel a few years ago. Uh, so we both kind of sang and I was, I always thought about it, but I never really had the time to pursue it. So unless she would have told me that, I, I see it as it's like, this is only her responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, like stepping out of, out of being in front of the screen, acting yeah. to, to writing music and performing. How's that like? I do all this crazy sh That's stuff, nuts. you know? That's nuts. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. It's a lot of fun, actually. Um, it's kind of a whole new world for me and I'm pleased I have amazing people on my team mm -hmm. and everything is just really happening really fast so it's a, actually it's a big pleasure and uh, the people who are from the music industry are just so cool and you know I realize that doing music and kind of being I mean I can't call myself a musician because yeah. I mainly <laughs> sing but and I write music too uh -huh. but um, it just it's so much fun because it's like as crazy as you are people people love you you know yeah, <laughs> so it's definitely. like you could just be like okay i'm a little bit not not that normal but yeah. you're gonna love me right <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know speaking of that you i don't know is it a coincidence or is it your comfort zone you're the acting that you're doing and then the music that you're portraying right now it, it gives me a, you know a sexy vibe yeah. So is that is that something that that you're mostly comfortable with, or is it a coincidence? I was like, okay, what is going to sell more, ugly or sexy? <laughs> Better go with a little bit of sexy. But again, you can't be ugly. <laughs> I, I was playing parts that I was ugly. Really? It's fun. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look that up though. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> you need to search for it. But um, I, I was playing parts, and I'm sure I'm gonna portray um, characters that are not driven by sex or their sex appeal, but. Mm. Um, you know, it was kind of like something that I was associated with in Israel, like playing something related to a sexy character. Or, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> How was it your first time doing that? I mean, um, that's what I've been doing. Like acting, it's been, that's what I've been doing my whole life. Yeah. So, I mean, I think 
sex is really part of life mm -hmm. and it's a big part of life it's almost like you need to eat you need to drink yeah, and yeah. you need to sleep and you need to have some sex just like uh, every good it's animal part of the diet exactly it's part <laughs> of the diet so it helps losing weight anyway <laughs> so that, that's a that that's your personal diet right there you got to have that all the time acupuncture and uh, sex. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you mentioned you're working on an album uh yeah. what's the progress with the album well, we have 12 songs and um, now we're making them all better. Okay. So we basically tighten up uh, the whole thing, but we, we have pretty solid beginnings, so it's very exciting. And the title for the album would be? I'm in Hate With Love. Okay, and what, uh, what brought you to, to s title that? Well, I think um, living in this world in, in America that is the core of capitalism, but basically influencing the whole world in, in, in the culture and... and um, so people really put people are really confused about love and relationships mm -hmm. and just see how many people are just getting divorced and so I, th I was thinking it's just like in these days like even if you sing a song about love it's like kind of like really yeah. so like I'm in hate with love you know I think people can relate to it today because it's not it's not that simple anymore you know mm -hmm. it's very challenging so throughout the whole record is that what you're mainly singing about or what what else is the record about um actually there are many uh different type of songs in the genre mm -hmm. and some of the songs are more kind of loungy uh quiet songs and some of them are dance electro dance um and yeah it's about relationships and it's about kind of like this generation and what the generation has to deal with and about the gender switch because uh the single yummy boys is you know, I know it's kind of like a silly song about yummy boys, uh -huh. but uh, for me, there's another deep meaning behind it. Oh, do tell. <laughs> you, you mentioned you're going to be honest today, so there you go. Exactly. <laughs> uh, just today, though. <laughs> so there is um, an extra meaning about women can make guys these days sex object, while in the past it was all about the the, the, yeah, the man making the women sex object, and then, you know, uh, after the sex evolution and all that, so women started to be um, just realizing the power of their sex and just letting themselves be sexy and mm -hmm. having artists like Madonna who really made a revolution about women performing and, and, and making art out of their sexuality. And these days it's like even taking it to like a little bit another layer yeah. because really women and men are almost equal these days. and. Yeah. and so it's like really everything is is changing got it and so would you say that is it safe to say that madonna is an influence for your music well i love madonna i think that she um everything that she's been doing it was just I, I believe that art has an extra message and an extra content to it and art is really about what you can bring to the people mm -hmm. And uh, you're in a sense a messenger if you're an artist. And so I believe people like Madonna or the Beatles, uh, these are perfect examples to show how um, musicians and how artists influence generation and changing the world for to be a better place. So yeah. definitely. Cool. And uh, today you're going to be performing. Right. Um, what is your live show like? Um, my live show is crazy. <laughs> um, I think it's funny and unexpected, mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping. Uh, we had a first show a month ago. Uh, we did it in collaboration with Grinder. It's an app. Okay. And um, it was great. So today it's similar show, but with a little bit of, of kind of a new version and a new spice to it. When is the record going to be released? Any plans on that yet? Well, we're, we're going to take our time. Um, the next step. Right now, Yami Boys just started playing in the radio and uh, in the club, so we're gonna let it kind of uh, play its course, and then we're gonna put out a uh, second single, which I'm very excited about. Nice. So we're working on that right now. You wanna give us a sneak peek of the second single? Uh, what do you mean to sing? Uh, or that, or that, <laughs> uh, to let us know which one it is or what it's about. Yeah, absolutely. The, the next single called uh, the Happy Song. Okay. And it's really not like the Yummy Boys, which is, Completely yeah, <laughs> it's kind of happy song. It's all like about empowering the people and about finding the positivity in life, mm -hmm. which we all know life is, is, is difficult. As the Buddha said, life is a suffer, but 
we need to overcome it. Exactly. Exactly. And any plans for any more performances, maybe a tour coming up? Yeah, absolutely. We have another show um, next week. Okay. And that's in a, a, a big rave. It's called Circuit Main Event. Okay. Um, so that's next Sunday, and we are very, very excited by Us Entertainment. Um, so that's going to be a brand new show. Nice. And um, it's going to be really hot, so I can't wait. I'm nice. going to work on it the whole week. <laughs> and um, then we're going to have more shows to follow, so it's going to be exciting. And in March, I'm going to be part of uh, the Yana Shore Palm Springs Festival. Okay. So I'm going to uh, perform four songs. So. so you're ready for 2012? I know. <laughs> what else can we expect for you for 2012? Any other movies you, or TV shows you might be in? Uh, well, I have a movie that I shot with Michael Imperioli, so hopefully that's going to come out. Okay. And then there is a TV show, actually, that we're working on that is related to the music. So that's exciting. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. I know you're always busy with your acupunctures and yeah. everything. So <laughs> I'll definitely keep looking out for you and definitely catch a show one of these days. And good luck with everything. Yeah, guys, be sure to check her out. Subscribe to Front Row Live Entertainment, and we'll see you guys soon.